Hi, I'm Mr. Anderson, and this is... Owen. And we're going to teach you how to tie some knots. Yay! Learning to tie knots is important because... It's a very important life skill, and you can use it in Boy Scouts. And just remember, you may not get it the first time, but the more you practice, the better you'll get. The first knot that we're going to teach you is the overhand knot. This is a good knot to start with as it forms the basis of many different knots. It can be used as a stop knot and can be used to stop the ends of your rope from fraying. So the first thing you want to do is take the right side of your rope and wrap it under like you're tying your shoelaces. Then all you have to do is pull on both ends until there's a little space like this in between and you've done your overhand knot. The next knot we're going to show you is the square knot. This knot is very useful for attaching two ropes of the same diameter together to make a longer rope. Sometimes this knot is also called the reef knot. So first what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take the rope on the left side and wrap it under and wrap it under the one on the right then you're going to want to go over and pull and the next knot we're going to teach you is the clove hitch uh, to do practice the clove hitch you can use a pole like we have a broomstick handle or even a stick from outside. The clove hitch is a very useful knot for attaching a rope to an item and is the start of many lashings. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take one end of your rope and you're going to wrap it around your pole. And then you're going to make an X and wrap it around one more time. Then all you have to do is put the end that you wrapped with through the middle and pull. And that's the clove hitch. The next knot we're going to show you is called the half hitch. This is a very useful knot for tying ropes to the grommets on your tarps and the tent side of your stay lines. If you look very closely at the half hitch, it is just a clove hitch on the running portion of your rope. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your rope and you're going to make a four. Instead of four. And you're going to go over, over, then pull through here. That's clove hitch. The next knot is the taut line hitch. It's very similar to the half hitch with one extra step. The taut line hitch is used for the stake side of your tent guy lines and is very useful because when it is adjustable and where you set it, it will stay. So the first thing you want to do is you want to take the end of your rope, you're going to want a big piece, kind of like this. And you're going to go one, two, three, and pull. And that's the top line hitch. The next knot we're going to show you is the timber hitch. The timber hitch is used traditionally for pulling lumber and is no matter how much strain you put on the rope it's always easy to untie. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take the end of your rope and wrap it around like this. Then you're going to make a four and put it through. Do that three more times and then pull. And then you have a timber hitch. The last knot we're going to show you is called the sheet bend. 
It comes from the days when, before there were grommets, sailors used to tie the, sh the sheet line to the clue of the sail. It is used for tying two ropes of different diameters together. So the first thing you want to do is make a loop with your big rope and thread your smaller rope through it. Then you want to go all the way around the bottom with the smaller rope and through this. Then all you have to do is pull and you have a sheet bend. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and learned something. And remember, the more you practice, the better you get, and always do your best.